Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and discuss a very important interview question called "What is object in Salesforce?" Usually, we don't call them as objects; we call them as tables in a layman's term. But in Salesforce, we call the tables as objects. So, what are the purpose of the table? So table is basically used to store data, right? So for example, if you're working in a company and I asked you that, hey, can you give me the information related to the employees? So without talking about database or anything, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open an Excel sheet and you're going to go ahead and create some columns. And based upon what data I'm looking for, you're going to go ahead and create columns like their full name. Then there will be a column for their address. Then the column would be there for number of years of experience, etc. And then the salary, let's say. So these are the information that you're going to capture. And then you end up creating this table in which you have added these four columns. Similarly, in Salesforce, we call them as objects. And uh, just like in a table, we have rows and columns. So these are nothing but these are the columns. And then when you start entering the data about an employee, let's say there is an employee named John and then his address is, let's say he lives in Dallas, Texas, and then his three years of experience and then salary. Similarly, we have another employee called Harris and uh, he's he lives in New Jersey and he has about five years of experience and uh, his salary is X, okay? So these are nothing but these are called as the rows and uh, all the different, these are called as the columns. So in Salesforce, what we do is, in Salesforce, we do not call them as rows and columns. So in Salesforce, we call the tables as objects in Salesforce, and the, these are called as objects in Salesforce. And similarly, the columns are called as the fields in Salesforce. And the next thing that we have is the rows are called as records in Salesforce. So these, this is the nomenclature we follow in terms of Salesforce. So table is called as object, columns are called as fields, and rows are called as records. Now we have two different types of objects in Salesforce. One we have is a standard object, the other one is called as a custom object. Now what is a standard object? So standard object is the predefined object which is already being given to you when you create a developer's account. So if you remember when you create a developer account, you get some objects like uh, accounts, then you have an object called opportunities, leads, etc. So those are called as the standard objects because they're already given to you by the sales force. And the custom objects are the objects that you create based upon your company needs. So let's say if you are working in a hospital you have a you have a huge hospital where a lot of doctors are working and you have patients coming in and out you have a CRM because the CRM tool can be used by any kind of company. As long as you have customers, you will need a CRM, right? So if you're working in a hospital, then you might need table to store information about the patients, right? Then you might need another table to store the information about the doctors that are working in that hospital. You might need another table to store the patient medical history and the medical information like the insurance information etc right so you can create your own custom tables based upon your company needs so let's say if you are working in a real estate company then what you're going to do is you will create a table which will have information about the properties which are available for sale purpose right so you go ahead and create a real you, you create a table called properties which will have information about the property address the number of bedrooms number of bathrooms what is the the square footage on the property etc so based upon your company's need you are going to create some tables so those are called as you're going to create some custom objects so there are two different types of objects one is called as a standard objects which are already given to you by the sales force and which you can use them if you want and then you can create your own objects based upon your specific company needs so as per the definition here, custom objects are the database tables which allow you to store data specific to your organization in salesforce.com. Now you can also use custom objects to extend the salesforce.com functionality or you can build new functionality. So 
Now, for every custom object, there are two different kinds of fields that are available. The first type of the field is called as the standard fields. And then the second type of the field we have is the custom field. Now, what is the difference between the standard field and the custom field? So the standard field are the field which automatically gets created when you create the object. So if you remember, if you create an object in Salesforce, what happens is there are fields which are already created like the created by, modified, etc. So those are called as the standard fields, which are automatically created. These are read-only fields, means you cannot modify the value of them. These are the read-only fields. And the custom fields are the fields that you create on an object are called as the custom fields. Now, if you want to go ahead and take an example, what we can do is I can go to the developer edition of mine and I can go ahead and sh show you the difference between the custom fields and the other type of field. So here, let's go ahead and log in. So when I created this developer's account, what happened was all these objects were already there, account, leads, etc. So they are called as the standard objects. Now, the objects that I create, which are not part of this developer's edition, those are called as the custom objects. So you can create a custom object by going to the setup. And here in the search box, you can type in the word objects and uh, you can create a new object here. Go ahead and type in objects and uh, you can go ahead and create a new custom object. And let's say we call this object as patient and the uh, the plural label. So now we are creating a custom object and then we're going to go ahead and hit the next button and then next and then save. So we have created a custom object called patient. You can see these all are the standard fields like the, these automatically got created. So these are all the standard fields. Now, if you want to add your own field, you can go ahead and add those fields using this new button. So this is about what is an object in Salesforce.